Hi everyone, Andrew here for Abilie Reviews, and today we are covering fire groups and how to manage your hard points. So uh, this one's um, something that can be easily overlooked if you're sort of not careful, and it sometimes can be a little confusing. It is really straightforward once you get a chance to kind of understand how the system works, but it, it can be a bit odd. So there's a few things to kind of level set with. Let's say you've just got your brand new ship. Let's kind of boost away from the station we're at right now. And you picked up some uh, different types of hard points. And, and hard points are essentially your offensive weaponry. Missiles, lasers, what have you. Chain guns, all the good stuff. And what you need to do is you need to actually set where you want them. So now that you can see we've left this fire zone, if I sort of am in the combat option and on your keyboard as your default state, that's M. That'll switch you from your analysis mode to your combat mode. So let's stay in combat mode. And then you'll notice if I try to do something it's going to say no fire groups defined i'm trying to shoot right now and i'm using my my uh, my controller which is my triggers and i'm trying to use my primary fire uh button it's not letting me do that uh so if we look over at our panel on our right hand side over here and let's make that larger you have your different tabs in the top you have your home modules fire groups ship inventory storage status and then of course the playlist go all the way into fire groups and you can see here, uh, it's uh, the system has been really nice to me. It's even grouped my various weaponry into categories. I didn't have to do that. This ship just happens to have, currently, uh, two beam lasers, one multi-cannon under the projectile category, and then two seeker missile racks under the launcher section, and then there's some utility options as well. Uh, we're just going to focus on the weaponry, but those utility categories also apply for the same space. And you would switch that from your combat option to your discovery option. Uh, so if you look at this list, you can see there's two beam lasers. And then to the right of that, kind of almost if you're familiar with uh, Microsoft Excel, uh, you have an A and then some empty circles. And I can actually cycle between those. I can go up and down using my directional pad on my controller or up and down controller, whatever you use for your controls in this game. And then I can also go to the right. I can then uh, press A, or my selection key, to add another category. And you can see here, every time I go over, what I'm essentially doing is setting things to the fire group. Um, and, and what does that mean? So let's go ahead and press start real quick. We're going to go to options. We're going to look at controls just really quickly. And then let's go to ship controls. If we go down, to weapons you have two options primary fire and secondary fire and then you have cycle next fire group uh, default if you're just using a mouse and keyboard it's going to be mouse one and mouse two and then n if you're using a controller it's going to be right trigger left trigger and then a uh, at least that's for me it may be slightly different for you but just go ahead and check yours set it to what you want if you're using like a hotas like a flight stick or something else um, you obviously have more complexity than i do uh, let's go back now. So now we know what our one and two is, which is essentially that primary and secondary situation. Let's go a little closer. There we go. Uh, what it's asking you to do here is the letter A at the top is essentially saying this is our sort of first fire grouping. And I can effectively say, well, um, if number one is my primary attack, my right trigger, RT, and if I click it again, it switches to two. And if I click it one more time, it goes back to null. So it's not active in this group of A. So let's set one, and let's also set the beam laser to one. And for fun, let's set our multi-cannon to one for our demonstration. We're not gonna do anything else just yet. This is just kind of give us an idea of what we're looking at here. So let's go back to our main screen, pull out our weapons, and we can see that it's saying they're deploying and all that good stuff. And let's, there we go. Now we're targeted and ready to go. So right now there is no enemies or anything in front of me. So if I'm going to shoot, everything's just going to go straight ahead. If I press the left joist, the left trigger, which we have set nothing to that, right? That's our secondary. Nothing's happening. If I press the right, you can now see the multi-cannon is shooting and the beam lasers are going off. And they overloaded and all that good stuff because I'm pressing the one side. If I go back over here and again, zoom in for those of you um, further away. Let's set the multi-cannon to two. Now the beam lasers are at one and the multi-cannon is at two. Now, uh, you can kind of see it. I guess it's gonna be sort of funny. Um, on the left-hand side of my screen there, 
it's on the white background of the uh, the ship but it says multi cannon on the left and you can even see secondary a primary a in the big circle that kind of goes around my reticles on the sides here you can see beam lasers are on the right and multi cannons on the left i'm pressing the right everything is shooting that's on the right if i press my left trigger now just the multi cannon is shooting what we've effectively done is we've decided because these two types of weapons do different things multi cannons do kinetic damage like they affect the hull of a ship and beam lasers do heat or thermal damage they affect the shield mostly uh, there's a, there's you know other things to be discussed there i don't want to be shooting both at the same time so when i'm hunting or shooting in combat i want to focus on the right weapon for the right situation so in this instance um, I just want to shoot my beam lasers. And then when they're done, they overheat. Okay, now let's use the multi-cannon. And then vice versa. That's sort of our first step. The next thing we can do is, obviously we have all these other things we want to control. Maybe for some reason, I don't want to launch my seeker missiles, because if they were at one, if I pull that trigger, they're also going to go off. I don't want to set them as two because I want them to be separate from the multi-cannon. That's where you'd set another group, a group B. So let's go in here and say I want seeker missiles um, to be one and two. Why is this? Because I don't want to launch all the missiles at once and I do have two sets of them. So one is going to be my right trigger and the other is going to be my left trigger. Let's go back here. So I'm still on primary A and secondary A. You can see that reflected kind of at the tops of those little half circles in the center of my screen here. If I press A or N, I think if you haven't changed your controls, it's now going to cycle to the next group. And you can see I no longer have access to my laser beams or my multi-cannon. Now I have seeker missiles. And if I press the right trigger, I guess they have to target something. This was a terrible demonstration. I did forget about that. Let's uh Let's see if we can find somebody to target and I'm going to give you an example. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This may not be the best of ideas, but we'll find out. Yep, so it's out of range. Um, so you can see here, I'm at least shooting things out and those missiles are actually going out. So oddly enough, this is kind of funny. Um, in the placement, if I press the left trigger, they're going to come from the right. So if you aesthetically don't like that, what you would do is you would cycle them. Because if you could see there, I was pressing the left joystick, but it looked like it was coming from the right. So let's switch this. This is one, and this is two. All that's saying is where those missiles are located on the hull of my ship, they happen to be kind of on different sides. So me personally, I like to make sure if something's on the right side of my ship, if something's on the left side of my ship, I like to know... Pressing the right joystick is gonna, or the right trigger is gonna shoot on that side. Now let's go back. I'm pressing the right side. Perfect. Now that's coming from that side. Press my left controller, left joystick, uh, <laughs> left trigger. It comes from the left side of my ship. Now let's say I've decided not to send seeker missiles out. So now I press my fire group, and I've now cycled back to A. I can press it again. I'm on B. I can press it again. I'm on A. That effectively allows us to have as many groups as we deem necessary for our various weapons. If for some reason you did not want to even mess with missiles, you could always set your beam lasers to one and two. So that way one beam laser goes and then the other beam laser goes so they don't overheat your ship. That's very important as well. So let's say we don't have the multi-cannon. I just want to control these two. Let's get rid of this stuff entirely. Now it's just this one row. I have beam laser one and beam laser two. So if we go back, oops, I don't want to go in. Uh, and I see here, beam laser one, beam laser two. And just like with those missiles, aesthetically, I don't like that. I don't like that my right side technically controls the left and my left side technically controls the right. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna set the bottom one to one and the top one to two. Now, there we go, that feels right. Now the little counter, the progress indicator, the heat section is for the right side, and the one on the left is on the left side. Now I might need to put some more pips into lasers, but essentially this works really nicely. This is very beneficial. Um, lasers obviously are gonna overheat, so maybe it makes sense just to do one and then have the machine gun instead. So let's go back over here again. 
Let's say we only want one of these to be active. We want multi cannon. That's okay too. So let's go back. The placement of my multi cannon might be a little funny, but now it's at right here at the top. Now I have my beam laser. I can now shoot both at the same time. I can shoot just my beam laser. I can shoot just my multi cannon. You can essentially choose whatever combination you would like. Uh, so not to kind of beat that dead horse, but you have all the options and all the customization here that you would like. All you have to do is choose your fire group. And you can have any combination of this. You can have things that show up in multiple groups. You can have things that show up in none of those groups. It is entirely at your choice. And as you can see here, I can go for quite a while. I would imagine the entire alphabet. I've personally never felt the need for that many, but you know, to each their own. Some ships do have a lot of hard points. So you have the option to put as much as you'd like there. Uh, but that essentially kind of concludes the fire group management. If you run into any questions or, or any problems, please, you know, reach out, put them in the comments. Otherwise, I hope this information was helpful. If it was, uh, let us know. Otherwise, um, if it's not, also let us know. Or if you have a better tip and trick that you like to use for how you group your weapons, that would be really helpful. Because obviously I just have my opinion and my way to do things, uh, but there's probably many other ways to accomplish this goal. There's probably other, other suggestions that people might have. So if you've got those things, drop them in the comments. Um, but until then, thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.